Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we got started with Chapter 7, and now we've made our way to, uh, not Star Summit, this is Starborn Valley, where all the stars become full-grown star spurs. They get raised, and then they can grant some wishes. And there's one right here, hello. I wanna go to Star Haven. When I go there, I wanna deliver lots of people's wishes, and I wanna become a great star spirit someday. When I do, I'll grant your wishes, Mario. Of course I will, I promise. And also, we should switch to Paracarry, because I know there's at least one letter to deliver around here to a toad, so we'll just talk to everyone, and we'll figure it out eventually. I've never been so busy. These star kids are as, as hyper as the day is long. All right, hello. Here's a, here's a toad. Of uh, One of the star kids seems to be playing hide and seek. You haven't seen him, have you? Maybe he's with the Yoshis. I swear, the second I take my eyes off of him, he's always he always runs off somewhere. What a naughty little star kid. You're Frosty, correct? My name's Paracar, I deliver letters. Let's see if we got a letter for you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Ah, how nice. It's a letter from Little Dainty and Mini T. Those naughty little rascals. When I visited their home, they were always up to something. They do write me letters often. It's nice to get letters. Their mail makes me as happy as mail from my wife and daughter. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I need a letter delivered. I'd like to take, like you to take this letter to Goompapa in Goomba Village. It's actually a reply to little Goombaria, but I think her dad could explain it to her better. Drop it off whenever you have the chance, all right? Thank you so much. All right, so we got a letter right there, cool. And what about up here? Oh, I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. All right, well, I definitely will. Hello. I wonder how Twink is doing. He was the last one to rise up to the sky. He went just before Bowser took the star rod. He was such a great kid. He looked after everybody. Do you think he'll, I'll ever get to see Twink again? Yes, he will. He's with Princess Peach right now. He's, he's a big help. Anyways, we'll definitely save right here, and I'll talk to you. Please get the star rod back from Bowser, Mario. The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. And then also, we definitely want to heal up if we have the chance. Uh. This little good toad house is refresh your body and soul. Uh, yep, let's take a na nap for sure. Just more than anything to restore our star spirit points. Those can be really useful to have in battle, so I want to have them as much as possible. Did you sleep well? I wish you luck. Well, thank you very much. So back out we go, and I guess we'll talk to this ninja right here. Hello. I've got my hands full with these star kids. They're all so active. Can we hit this tree? We can, but not much happens. Come in, please. Okay, so he's gonna go in. I guess we're gonna go in with him. Now, Mario, you must heed well to what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that the stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the star rod from Star Haven, the power of, the, of that place is weakened and star kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninji to my father, Merlin, hoping I could coax you to come here. Because I have found out where the last star spirit is, it came to me in a dream, a vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Atop sits the Crystal Palace, the star spirit awaits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memoir, memories of local people. And now, no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though, and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a scarf for the snowman, so we need to find a hat for the other snowman. An ordinary scarf from Merle in the Starborn Valley. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way into to the Crystal Palace, sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, the Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Please help them and expel Bowser from the sky. I would love to. Also, let's talk to you. Mayor Penguin of Shiver City should have the other vital item you need if you use it and the scarf. It is said that the way to the Crystal Palace will open. First, you must go to Shiver City and visit Mayor Penguin. Aren't you Merle, though? What, don't you want your letter? Uh, items. A letter to Merlo. Oh, okay, I'm being silly. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so we'll give that to him at some point. For right now, we'll switch over to Goombario again. We still have plenty to do around here. I want to talk to this little star kid. Uh, oh yes, Mario, I'd almost forgotten. 
There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. You found me, hee 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 hee. What do you see, see, what, did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise into the sky soon? Hopefully soon, that's what we're working towards. Hello. Along with the ninjas, we're taking care of the star kids under the instruction of the mystic Merle. It's very rewarding to think that one of these kids might grow up to be a star spirit. Oh, can you imagine it? What a happy day that'd be. But unless things get better around here, it'll just be a fantasy that never comes true. Well, let's work on it then. So what will be in this house? Oh wow, a bunch of them. Hello, I'm cooking for the star kids. They're behaving pretty well. What do star kids eat? <laughs> That's a relief. It's probably because they believe you'll get the star rod back. Certainly hope you do. Tell me a story. Tell me the, a story about the time you saved the, a star spirit. Well, I've done it six times so far. We're working on the seventh. You're a part of that story. Uh, I wanna know what Twink is doing. Uh, do you think Twink is doing fun stuff up there? I mean, maybe. Somebody read me a story. It was about how stars in Star Haven grant people's wishes. All right then, so there we go. There's seemingly everybody, I think. Well, actually, we haven't talked to you. One of the star kids is hiding somewhere. Hmm. Could you tell me if you find him? I suppose it's natural for youngsters to be full of energy, but they're trying to try my patience. I don't have time for this. Well, we already found one of them. I don't think there's a way for me to tell you about it, though. So yeah, I guess we're heading back for right now, and we could battle some more enemies. Now might, now might be a great time, because uh, I'm so close to level up, we're uh, at 90 points. So let's give this a try then. I'm going to, I actually might just go ahead and do the Mega Quake. Ooh, come on. Got it. So that'll do enough damage to almost get rid of you. At this point, what I could do is with Goombario attack the guy in the back and when the, the front guy attacks me, I should be able to take him out with the electric damage that he'll receive from attacking me. So overall, pretty good deal. I tried to block it, I failed but it took him out. So there's four points for us. If we could get an additional six points from the other guys that are over here, we should be able to, and we should be able to do that. Um, oh, now it's just this guy walking around though. Oh, he got me first with his tongue. Ow, but we were able to, you know, electrocute him back. Okay, this time, I'm just gonna jump on him. Same thing with Goombario. Just try to get rid of them as soon as possible. This way, might be our best bet. There we go, we got it. And, nice, I blocked it. It's still five damage, but you know, five instead of seven is still pretty good. So there we go, there's six damage. We just need to do an additional six with Goombario. Got it, awesome. So that's gonna get us six more points. What do you know? So there is our level up, awesome. And that means we can up our badge points if we wanted to, which I think might be a good idea. Uh, we probably have more badges we need to get equipped anyway. So let's take a quick look at that right now before I forget, because I will. Um, what badges might I want to consider? I feel like maybe I should do something like, let's you do a power bounce. That might be a good idea. On top of that, we'll have one extra point available. Because this is like group focus, which is considerable, but I don't know. Uh, Dodge Master, Happy Heart, Happy Flower. Quite a few of those kind of things. So deep focus could be good. Hmm. We don't get into peril too often. Huh, I'm trying to see with this one. We got power rush, Mario's in danger, his attack power is increased by two. That might be good. And we can't really afford any of these other ones. I mean, we could obviously get like fire shield thanks to damage Mario takes from fire attacks or the Ice power increases attack power against fire enemies. Okay, so actually neither of these would be useful in our current situation. Hmm. So I think we're gonna go for that. We are going to go for the thing I saw, which was uh, power rush. Having extra damage while well, we're a little low on health. Not too bad. And now we have like an extra damage jump, which might be good sometimes comparatively. Like we don't always wanna do the one thing. So we can't do this yet. We have the scarf, but we need the hat. And did we hit these trees? Whoa, did the top of that just fly off? Uh, it did. Oh, hey, a letter. Okay, so I guess I didn't hit this tree. You got the letter. 
Um, who was that for? I'm a little curious. Uh, because this is the one for Mayor Penguin in Shiver City. Okay, see so ya, yeah, we're gonna be going to him anyways. Awesome. I still don't know what to do about poor little you in here. I just, I, I don't know if there's anything I can do to actually melt him down. So maybe we'll get a new partner this time around, which will give us like a fire ability or something. I don't know. But anyways, we're just gonna be charging back. I don't think I need to talk to anybody here. We've sort of talked to a lot of them quite often. So but right now it might be good to heal and then we'll get to the mayor because we have a letter to deliver to him. And also, I guess we also have to get an artifact from him to make our way to the Shiver Mountain or whatever it was called. All right, Mr. Mayor, I got some stuff for you. First and foremost, we're just gonna talk to you and I'll switch over to Paracarry now so that, that's Cooper. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, so that whenever we're ready, we can just sort of figure it all out. Oh, Mario, did you reach Starborn Valley? Did you see Merle? Yes, I did. Oh, excellent. He said, what? An item that has been passed down in the city? Um, oh, right, there was something like that. Just a minute, I think I got it somewhere. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Yes, I found it, here it is. It's a, it's a little bucket. An ordinary bucket that the Shiver City Mayor gave you. Cool. This bucket has been passed down through the years in Shiver City. As Merle have, must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to the Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what all that means though? <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue as to how to use them together. Sounds like those star kids in Starburn, Stardom Valley are in trouble. Uh, I hope you do your best to for the, for the little tykes. They're just kids, best of luck to you. So let's go ahead and talk to him again. Oh, here he goes. You're Mayor Penguin of Sh Shiver City, correct? So here we go, here's our letter, or his letter. For me? Oh, it's from Yoshi Village. I don't know where that is, but I bet it's pretty far away. I'll read this later, thanks very much. Oh, hang on, I'll give you this. And we get a star piece, awesome. Well, there's that done. Oh, hello there, Mario. My husband tells me you're looking for the Crystal Palace. What an exciting adventure. You're like a hero in a novel. Imagine that, being in a story. All right, well, we're gonna head out of here now. We're already healed up and everything, so we should just be able to go right back over to the mountain and I guess put the hat on the one snowman and the scarf on the other. And I guess we'll move on over to that mountain and see what that's like. So this is pretty exciting to me. I feel like this might be another quicker chapter where it only takes us two episodes to get through, which honestly, I don't mind. I'm just trying to get to the end of the game as soon as I can. I'm trying to beat the game before the new Paper Mario game comes out in a couple of days. Anyways, we're spinning down this way. Almost there. Yeah, I still don't know what to do to unfreeze him, if there's anything we really can do. But here we are. Uh, so you need the scarf and you need the hat. And is that everything we need to solve the puzzle? A cool bucket hat, thank you. A warm scarf, thank you. What a kind man you are, we thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. Whoa. Oh my gosh, sentient snowman. Whoa, so the entrance is just opening up now. That's really cool. I'm a little, a little scared. This looks a little intimidating. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Snowman. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowman. All right, cool. We'll also talk to, or uh, try to talk to them. But we'll have Goombari to talk to when we go into new areas. I can't do anything to them. Okay, so let's go. Thank you, snowman, I appreciate it. And here we are. Now I wanted to talk to Goombari. Huh? This is Shiver Mountain. This is a very cold, dangerous climb. Be careful, okay, Mario? Will do. So yeah, let's save for right now. Oh, this music's cool. Huh, oh boy. So already when we jump this, there's no way back. Oh gosh, the ice is cracking. Oh, it's a button. Whoa. Huh. So let's pay attention to buttons right here. What if I were to hit it again? It lowers. Now, Remember what Merlo said, something about the walls. I wonder how much of that we'll have to keep in mind. I also wonder if there's any stuff around here, I guess not. I will have to try to look around a little bit more often though for hidden blocks. I feel like I haven't done that good of a job, but we usually have a fair chunk of them anyways. Hmm, oh gosh, here we go again. Ready, boom, got the first strike on him. That's at least good. No new enemies here, so we should just be able to handle this, I hope. Uh, maybe I can try with Watt first. He only has Electro Dash, I can, or she only has Electro Dash. 
that we can really do here. Alright, let's give it a try. Yeah, that one does four damage. I think that they're not supercharged, is the thing. So, you know what, now might be a good time. I know we use this often, but let's do the, the Star Storm. Because these guys are tough. The enemies are just tough to go against at this point. So if we could, I'd like to take them out any way I can. Maybe I should have put them to sleep though. Maybe that would have been a better move. I guess we'll find out. Ah, oh, I tried to block it, but it just goes really quick. And I couldn't block that one either. How embarrassing. That's a problem actually. So for right now, let's Electro Dash you. But I definitely need to switch over to a different character, I think. Well, there's four damage. So you're down, that's great. I can't block this in any way, but it was only five damage this time, so at least there's that. Okay, um, so. Will this do enough damage? I don't think it will, unfortunately, but almost. Oh geez, come on. Nice, I blocked that one, but we're already, we've already lost 15 HP from this, so it's a little crazy. Either way, it's still plenty of star points, right? They're still dropping two of them, so we get six in total. Okay, I'll take it. And we get some extra health and stuff. Maybe I'll keep to somebody else for right now. I wanna see Cooper. I'm pretty sure he has a fire ability now. Was it him that got that, or was it Spike? I think it was him, but I guess we'll find out. Once again, I'm trying to look around for uh, anything that might look peculiar. Well, we might just have to keep going for now. Oh no, here we go, here we go, gotcha! We made the first strike this time, which is much better. And let's see what Cooper can do. Abilities, fire shell. Attack all enemies on the ground with a flaming shell. That is five FP. All right, so, come on, come on. There it is. Oh, eight damage to those guys, great. But still not quite enough to take them out. So I could try and make a quake here, but I think I'm just gonna bounce on this guy. There we go. So it's just now this uh, frozen prawn to deal with. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Let's try again. Gotcha. So Cooper's very useful for this area then. That's for sure. Okay, so with that done, we're just gonna keep moving forward. Got a bunch of coins. And oh boy, you're chomping at me. Oh, I didn't expect him to pop up that way, but we still got him. Oh, it's just a bunch of these guys this time. So we can handle this for sure. First off, Let's do the fire shell. There it is, 100%, and that should do eight damage to each of them. I wish we had like a multi-bounce going on right now or something, but I think we can handle it. If we just do jump like that, and then these guys will definitely attack us, but hopefully we can handle it. I tried to block it, it's just so tough. And I tried to block that too. Either way, I think Cooper can get it at this point. All he has to do is do like a power shell like this. And boom, we got him. All right, well, good job. That gets us an additional four points, so we're up to eight there. So we're 20 points in. That's not bad, considering. But yeah, so far this chapter is really, really difficult. Hmm. Once again, should I be paying attention to the walls? I don't know. We'll just keep going up for now. Ooh, that didn't do much. Maybe we should get Watt out again. Aha! All right, we'll put Watt down. And what do we get here? Ooh, you got an Ultra Shroom. An Ultra Fine Mushroom restores 50 HP. So you know what? Uh, I didn't mean to throw it away. Let's well, make this quick, though, because I do not want to waste an Ultra Shroom. Uh, eat the potato to restore five HP. You get back here, item. It's falling down there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, get it, get it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, Ultra Shroom is ours. That's a lot of health. Pretty crazy. Oh, and we're going out this way. Okay, so now might be a good time to switch over to Goombario again and see what we got going on over here. I feel like we're on the edge of the world up here. Seriously, this is a really remote place to go all, go adventuring. I feel like we can say that about basically everywhere we've gone. So I can't quite make that jump, even with Paracarry, I think. But hey, maybe actually, maybe Cooper can do this. Yeah, he can. Whoa, why is there two Coopers? What? What? Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me. Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper, yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? W what? That's impossible. I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper, really. 
Come on, Mario, you know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying, Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody goody. I'm his buddy, yeah, that's it. Why, you, you're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron, er. Mario, you have to decide who's who's lying. It's the only way. Pick one you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine, yeah, with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, fine. You know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. What is going on? Uh, I'm not worried. You, you and I go way back, Mario. I know you know who I am. Don't listen to this idiot. Look at him, he's a liar. Go on, hit him, hit him. This guy thinks he can pull the wool over your eyes, Mario. Don't let him get away with it. Hit him as hard as you can. This guy is like very aggressive. I don't remember Cooper being that way. Was I right? I was, wow, this is weird. Yeah, what made you think I was the one lying, huh? Must have been luck, no one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby, you lost. What were you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What, shut up, I'll trick you. Oh boy, and we're fighting him now too. Okay, well I actually have to have him switch back over to Goombario so that we can uh, tattle on these guys, because I do not know these enemies. Weird, uh, tattle right there, but yeah, very odd that they just mimic other people. This is a Duple Ghost. Duple Ghost disguise themselves as members of our party. Max HP is 15, attack power four, and defense power zero. They love to attack in disguise. It seems they're generally stronger fighters when they're not disguised though. Okay, well, we'll do what we can then. Uh, this is a tough thing to start with, but I think we will once again. Actually, let's try timeout. Let's see if this works. Because it would be a really great opportunity if it does. Oh boy, here we go. Please time him out. Will it work? Yes, it, oh, it worked on one of them. Darn, that's not really useful. Uh, so I guess we'll go for the guy who is around. Oh, here we go, here we go. What is that gonna do for us? The spell will decrease the damage you receive. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna turn into Kumbario. So now's the time to attack him. Maybe do power bounce on him or something. Kumbario? <laughs> I love how it said that. Oh, I messed that up, darn. So I don't know if I like that one too much. It's the same thing as multi-bonk, it seems. No, I didn't mean to, ah, oh, darn. I mean, it's great to lower both of their health, but I'd rather w w lower the one that's actually a danger to me right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to go for you again. And then I think finish you off with Goombario, maybe? Just like that, because he still has two more turns that he can't do anything. Okay, see, now we can just go for him again and should be able to take him out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I messed it up. If we don't mess this up, that is, we should be fine. Thank you, okay. A little scary, but we made it work. There's four extra star points for us. Not too bad. That was certainly an interesting experience. Yeah, we did it. So what was down here the whole time? A rock. You got a pebble, a common pebble, throw it to, to deal one damage to an enemy. I mean, I'd rather not. What I think I might do is, I probably need that for something, right? So we might as well use something here. Maybe I'll use some maple syrup to get some FP back. I'm sure we'll need it sooner or later. And we'll go back up here. All right then, so let's go up this way and see what else is going on. Now that we have that pebble, maybe we can do something with it. Oh, okay, new enemy. It's like a uh, white version of the guys that were in Tubba Bubba's castle. So let's see, uh, title on them. This is a white clubba. This is a white clubba. They live in old climate, or not old, cold climates. Who knows why they moved here? Max HP is 12, attack power five, defense power zero. They sometimes attack consecutively. They're pretty powerful. It's tough to swing at such a big club. Ice attacks won't work on them, so break out fire if you have it. So we do, of course, with uh, Cooper, but not something I'm going to be super worried about for the moment. Actually, what might be best is if I jump on this guy in the back. That way, Cooper can do his fire toss move. Next. Ah, oh, come on, I know I can, ow, ow, block that, I know I can. Nice, okay, so three damage instead of six is much better. Um, so first off, change member to Cooper, just like that. And I guess we'll do our fire shell. Give this a try. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm doing it wrong. Oh my gosh, I forgot how it worked. It still did good. 
I was holding it back like it's a power shell. But we're just gonna jump on you like this now. That doesn't hurt, right? Okay, we're fine. Because he was holding a spiky ball up, I didn't know. Uh, but there's four more points for us. Okay, that's something. We're not really doing the best at the moment, but we could be doing a whole lot worse too, so it's fine. So, let's heal up with that one heart that was dropped, and let's get up this way. Ooh, nice! Okay, so we got another one of these. We can upgrade um, one of our party members. And I will upgrade either Paracarry or Watt. I think Watt is just somebody I use in battle more. Hold on, I didn't read the description of it though. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So Watt down this way. Oh uh, no, Watt is a he, I'm sorry. He'll master Mega Shock uh, to paralyze all enemies. Sure. Do you want to upgrade this member? I swear they've also referred to Watt as a she, but I must be getting it mixed up. Watt is upgraded to Ultra Rank. Cool. So. Let's go back to Gumbario for now. Who knows when we might run into a new enemy. I feel like we're on the edge of the world up here. Seriously, this is a really remote place to go adventuring. I don't know if I've read that or not already. But let's keep going, and we can have him read something about this place. Boy, climbing this mountain is really hard. You'd think that the path to a palace dedicated or yeah, dedicated to the stars would be a lot less trying on the legs. I mean, they don't even have legs. So I definitely want this item, but I know that we're filled up on a couple of things right now. So now might be a good time to use the Super Stream. We're already down to 12 HP anyways. So let's go ahead and do that. And do you want to pick up the shooting star? Yeah, there we go. So that'll do six damage to everybody. Oh no, that was a trap. Do I have to put some, oh, let's put a pebble there. Ah, there we go. Same thing here though. Oh, we can get better and better items but I'd have to trade it for some not so good items. Do I still have that potato? <laughs> I don't have the potato. Uh, I could use the Fright Jar or something. I don't know, I could also save them for later on my way back. Might be a better idea. Um, walk carefully up here or else you may slip, Mario. That would be a long, long way down, huh? I guess so. Anything back here? Ooh, it looked like it looked a little peculiar. Oh, and there's something for Bombat. Sure, why not? And the star piece thing didn't go off, so there's no star pieces around here? Weird. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, look at that! Okay. Oh, hey, who's this? At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> ho, ho. Do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Merlar. I am a messenger of the stars. You know Merlin and Merle well. I am their ancestor. The stars spoke of me, of, of you through my dreams. They said you would come to the shrine in Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace, where stars are honored. Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In the interest of time, I'll be brief, so pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately and, but it was actually, oh, such a sight, I was, and, it was so, it was none other. So then, then I, <laughs> she's getting like cut off. The signal's bad. We gotta bend the antenna a little bit. Mario's falling asleep. That's what's happening. He's dozing off. Mario, this is important. So that's why you get, you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace. But hey, you, were you even listening to my story? No, he was not. Mario, how rude. Well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. Well, would you look at that? With this stone, you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Hmm, do you think you understood my shortened version of the, of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day, I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, so, also, what does Goombari have to say about this area? What a strange place this is. It's bright even in the cave. This must be the small cave that Merle told us about. There's something strange about this place. Even the wall seems suspicious to me for some reason. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a star stone. A stone, it opens the path to the Crystal Palace, which is exactly where we'll be going right now. Very cool. 
So yeah, I guess we're just gonna go back this way and go up. That was very fortunate that I sort of just stumbled upon that. It looked a little peculiar. And okay, all we could, could have done is go up here. A stone, it opens the path to Crystal Palace. Then let's go. Awesome. Whoa. Oh, and this is gonna raise, so we can never return there. So hopefully there was nothing I, I missed. Hmm. Oh wow, just like a never ending staircase. It just goes up and up and up. A couple of places to stop as well, so. Yeah, we're in it for the long haul. There's plenty more to do. Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll give that a try. Uh, heading up here then. What do we got going on for their first stop? Oh gosh, more enemies. No you don't, no you don't. So one thing I've been wanting to try, especially since Cooper is the enemy, or the teammate I wanna use here. No, 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 wait, wait, roll away. I tried to do the spin attack on him, but it's a little difficult. There we go, there's that first strike with it. Awesome. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. Let's switch over to Cooper, and we'll do fire shell like this, and make sure I go crazy with it. There we go. Nice damage there. Now I can finish them off with the uh, Mega Quake. Got it. Boom. Okay, everybody down at once. Thank you very much. The problem is it uses up so much FP, but we get 10 star points there. Oh, so not too bad. Okay, so with that out of the way, what else do we got going on? Ooh, that's a badge for us. This is the Mega Jump Badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using tons of attack power. I feel like that's what I want more than my current badge. So where is that? That's Mega Jump, that's three points now, compared to the two points for Power Bounce. Uh, jumps on one enemy continuously, because I'm so bad with that, I feel like I should do something more. Um, maybe I should do something FP related, because I feel like I'm using a lot of FP recently. So is there anything that I could do FP related for two star points, or maybe even three? I'm not sure. I mean, I could do like Flower Saver during battle, saves at one FP every time you attack. That sounds fine. Um, or we could just increase our maximum FP by five. Is that really worth doing? I'm not sure. Because we could get rid of Power Rush, which I, I know we just got. Huh. Yeah, what's the difference between Happy Flower then and Flower Saver, which is six BP? Interesting. Um, I don't think that's necessary. We'll just do Happy Flower for right now. I need something that like generally restores my FP over time, I think. Anyways, let's keep going up this way and see what else we can get done. I'm sure there's something. Oh, we can save. I des definitely need that, so glad to have it. And then over this way, what else do we got? Uh, Not too much right now. If I see any enemies, oh, this is good. Now I don't have to worry about healing as much. Very nice. Whoa, what's with this? There must be at some point something that's not mirrored, right? Because it's just this giant sheet of ice. That it all looks the same to me. Okay, well, we'll leave that be for now then, and we'll go into here. Actually, let me have Goombario describe this area. Hold on, I wanna be extra sure of everything. This is the door to the Crystal Palace we can get in from here. It must have been tough to get the building materials up here. Don't you think it would have been more convenient if they had built it at a lower elevation? Yeah, but then it wouldn't have been as fancy. Wow, so spacious, you gotta love the high ceilings, huh, Mario? You can set up a basketball court in here. The rich really know how to live. Guess you can say that again. So there is a door right here, as you can see. What else is going on in this room now? Wow. Whoa, okay. We couldn't have gone in that door anyways because it was locked. Same thing with this one. Uh, let's try again. What, what will give me the, okay, it'll just give me back the red door. So a red door and a blue door, both covered with a key, so I can't quite get into it. Hmm. Anyways, let's go this way then. And we'll save. Yep. Let's see what Goombario says. This room is pretty cramped. I wonder what it, what it was used for. Servants' quarters, maybe? Maybe. That's not do as much as I was hoping. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, there's a bat up there. Never trust polished floors because they're often slippery. I really don't want to fall and bump my head. 
Is this slippery? It's not. Boom, but I got the first strike on you. Not bad, so what is this? Oh, they're up there. So a Quake Hammer would actually do us good. Um, first off, Goombaria, if you wanna do a little bit of a tattling, on the Swoopula. This is a Swoopula. Swoopula's attack from the air and cling on to you to suck your HP. Max HP is eight, attack power two, and defense power zero. Hit A repeatedly to fight it off, or else it'll keep sucking your HP. You can't jump high enough to attack them while they're hanging from the ceiling. An earthquake attack ought to work though. Flying party members or like bow or paracarry can also attack them with ease. If they fall and begin to flap around, you can attack them by jumping as well. All right then, so what we're gonna do to start then is we are just going to make a quake. It'll get rid of one of them and severely damage the other two. There we go. Nice. So now they're actually floating, so we can just take them on next turn. But they're gonna attack now. Oh, actually, we're gonna be taking less damage thanks to Merle, maybe? Uh, there's too many of them at this point. Okay, so I didn't take any damage at all. Very good. Actually, I, I successfully blocked at that time too. So yeah, we're definitely just gonna jump on you real quick. They give two star points each, so we'll be getting six in total for this uh, this battle. Good to see it. Gotcha. Okay, so as you can see, six points for us, 44 in total, not bad. Definitely wanna grab as many coins as we can and keep moving forward. Oh, here are some more. Okay, try it again. This time I got gotcha. you. So this is where things can get a bit difficult. I'm thinking what we should do at first is maybe change members and we could do like something like Sushi or Lack of Lester. You know, Spike. <laughs> Sorry, I read his name because it's there on the screen, but I mean Spike. Uh, Hurricane, if it works, blow the enemies away from the battle. Hmm. I think throw spiny eggs at all enemies might be better. Okay, we got this. That should be good, right? Does that not work at all? No, that worked. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. And now they're all up here. Cool. So we can get rid of one of them, no problem. I should probably get rid of one that won't get taken out when I defend against them anyways. All right, so they're gonna go for us. I blocked it. And I think that we have enough badges that defend us that we're not gonna take any damage anyways. There we go. So that was actually pretty good. Definitely spent less FP that way. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so back over to Spike now. We are going to do the spiny flip. Should be fine. Nice, there it is. Okay, well, we got it. Eight star points. So we're more than halfway there to a level up now. That's good to see. And we can keep going. Yeah, that's it for this room. And there wasn't any other way to go. So we're doing everything right so far. Even though we're indoors, it's still freezing in here. I mean, seriously, the floor's frozen. I hate it. I'm sorry. It's either too hot or too cold for him. He's always uncomfortable. You got the blue key, a big blue key. So I guess, yeah, we can use that for the big blue door. What do you know? I'm still a little curious about the, the X on the floor in this hallway, but I've already tried hammering it, slamming on it. it. Doesn't seem to do much. Maybe if we were to shift around the floors though, maybe that would do something. Also, while we have the chance, maybe we should run back outside of the fortress or the mansion, whatever it is, and heal up again. Cause that was right over here, correct? Yep. Seems like a pretty easy thing just to stop by and do every once in a while, right? It doesn't refill my star power, but it does everything else, so that's good. So back over this way then, we are going to, first and foremost, uh, hit this button so it becomes the blue one. And maybe if I do that, the X on the, on the hallway downstairs will do something. Well, it's not even downstairs, it's just to the left. So actually, probably not. I'm not gonna bother with it for right now. Uh, but let's use our big blue key. And I guess we're good to go in. All right, awesome. It looks like your basic passage. Since we're in a palace, I'll call it a palatial passage. All right, you do that. Oh, and we got something for Bombat. I like how we're using a good variety of our, our team members recently. I feel like there was a while there where some of them just don't get too much use. Uh, but I feel like it's sort of balancing out a bit more now. Anyways. What do we got going on? That's weird. You see how it's not blocked off there? Actually, that's not a mirror. You don't see us at all back there. So there's gotta be a way in. 
Strange, the reflective room looks slightly different. Funny, huh? Aha, okay, we figured it out. So we'll go over there in just a second. But for right now, there we go. And let's try this one out a little bit. What do we get out of this one? Just a bunch of coins, which hey, that's well worth it to me. Up to 119, I need to get as many as I can. So where will this bring us with Bombat? Okay, and we'll go back with Goombario. So will we just be like in the mirror reflection now? That wouldn't make too much sense. Whoa, whoa, yikes, Mario's here. Whoa, we better beat him. So were they imitating us in the reflection the whole time? It was never a reflection? Oh my gosh. Okay, well this is a bit tough, but we can definitely handle it. How do I wanna go at him? I think we'll change member again. Maybe we'll just do Cooper again. He's been really useful, so I like it. Uh, let's try this one then. Cause I don't know if we've ever tried Dizzy Shell before. Come on, come on, come on, 100%. Nice, so it does not do any damage. It just dizzies them for two turns. That's not too bad. So let's go ahead and just use the hammer. It'll do the same amount of damage anyways. Gotcha. Okay, Mario's happy. Mario's happy, then I'm happy. Okay, that's enough to get him so that if Cooper does his power shell, it'll get rid of the first guy. Other guy's down to 11 health, so we'll keep at it. And he should be, yeah, now, now he's done being dizzy, but we can handle that. I'm sure he's gonna turn into a uh, one of the party members soon, which usually, I think that takes up one of their turns. But if we're quick with this, it does five damage, right? No, it does four, darn. <laughs> Not good. Okay, so who's he gonna turn into? He's gonna turn into Cooper. But once again, he does not attack on the turn that he uh, transforms himself. So we got it before they could even do anything. Very good. All right, well, there's four extra star points for us. And we can keep moving forward in the mirror realm. At least what we thought was. No, the real Mario is so strong. And they just ran away. Okay. See, what will Goombario say about this? Anything? Come on now. It looks like a basic passage, yeah, okay. So he just says the same thing again. See, what's up with this then? Now we're back here. I don't know if it's worth it to do that. As long as the reflection looks exactly the same. That's so odd, isn't it? Anyways, we're gonna keep moving, because this door then, shouldn't it theoretically lead somewhere else? I guess it does. Oh, we get a super stream, I definitely need that. Is this like a waiting room? I don't know how people could deal with so many rooms. It's just totally confusing. That also makes me curious. What if we leave? Because remember, it was also mirrored out here. Whoa, look at this. There's gotta be something cool out here, right? It's just gonna keep going. Aha, look at this little star piece. That's a cool idea, I like that. That was fun, okay. Nothing back here, if you say so. And we're up to 14 star pieces, which is really cool. So, back over this way then, we know what to do. Go on in. And see who else we might be able to take on, oh gosh, here we go again. Gotcha, we made the first strike. So we might wanna, Oh, this one's a little bit different, but I think if we switch back over to Spike again, we can do that same move once more, the uh, Spiny Surge, or we could do Hurricane. But I don't know if that's worth it, because I don't think we get experience for that. So I'd rather do something that'll help us, you know, become more stronger in the long run. So there we go, there's all that done. I'm going to jump on this guy. There we go. So the other Swoopula will take damage when it attacks me, and that'll take it out. So we just have to focus on the, uh, the imitator guy, which I'm guessing he's gonna transform on this turn. No, he doesn't! Wow, I was not ready for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, let's take out the Dupla Ghost with Mario and Spike here. Come on, Spike, you know what to do. Because he can do up to five damage as long as we land it. Oh no. Oh, I missed. I, I don't know why I'm trying to do it so quickly. That time I blocked it. So Mario can get rid of him now. Just do a quick jump. There we go. So we're chipping through this level. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> Honestly, with stats, we're not doing too bad in general. So I'm pretty happy with that. Get some extra coins and what is, oh, that's right, there was an X on the spot here in the mirrored zone. I might wanna explore that more in a bit though. Like, what's this way? More enemies. 
I'm a little confused on which way is the preferred way to go. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, this has its own path to it and everything. I'm a little confused by that, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Um, this time around. Maybe I could do something here. Like the Mega Quick, it just costs so much FP. It's, it feels like it'd be better just to do it with, uh, with Spike. Because we do save a couple of points each time. Okay, we know what to do then. And especially with these guys, because they don't take any damage. Or they don't deal any damage to me, really. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump on this Swoopula real quick. And this guy will try to attack me. Shouldn't be a problem. Yep. That's really nice, I appreciate it. Okay, if we jump on him one more time then, that'll be super easy. And we got it. So Swoopulas, swoop, swoopulas we already got sort of figured out. Very good. Get some extra FP back from that, that's always good to see. We still have 20 of it left over, but that can go away pretty quickly. This is a long corridor, huh? Hey, that's a reflection in the floor, it's like a mirror. This place almost makes me miss the desert. I'm freezing, how can you stand it? I don't know, I feel like he asks, asks that all the time. Oh boy, so there's a lot of enemies this time. I think this might be a worthwhile attempt to do a Star Storm. Because I wanna get rid of that yellow Koopa before he runs away, the yellow Magic Koopa. Because remember, the Swoopulas, they're just gonna not do any damage to hurt me anyways. But the yellow Magic Koopa can make it so that they are, they're doing a lot more damage. So that's where it's important that we make sure we get this jump correct with Goombaria. Yes, okay, we got it. And that'll be only one extra point though. A little unfortunate, but this will get rid of the Swoopias. Gotcha. All right, well, not bad, not bad. Seven more star points, we're at the 75, three quarters of the way there. And some extra health. Yeah, I gained more health than I lost out of that battle. Really good to see that. Oh no, I missed coins. Oh, here's a chest. Hold on. No. Oh my gosh, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> Talk about cold, my knees are knocking. My teeth are chattering, you have knees? <laughs> don't, don't, you, don't you have any problems at all, Mario? Let's keep moving so I don't freeze off uh, into a, a goomsicle. <laughs> I've had all I can stand. I must leave this fridge. So what is this? Is this gonna be the other key? It is the P down D up da badge. Decreases the attack power by one, but increases the defense power by one. I don't think I want that, but still, very interesting. Uh, anyways, we're gonna keep moving. Glad to have an extra badge. Let us see what's going across here. My reflection is weird. Seeing myself in the floor is starting to freak me out. Oh, gotcha! <laughs> okay, so we made the first strike on the Duple Ghost here. Oh, they have a red Magic Koopa this time. So how do we want to handle this one? Hmm. I might want to do another Star Storm, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Let's see what other characters we have that can maybe hit multiple people once. Maybe we could try a Bomb Bat move. That might be fun. Abilities, Mega Bomb, sure. Let's try this out. I don't know if we've tried Mega Bomb yet. I made it to 100. Seven damage to each person, which isn't too bad. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead once again and get rid of the red Magic Koopa here. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Are you guys gonna jump at me or what? No, he's gonna transform, which once again is a lot more handleable. He's gonna do the same thing. So, I guess I'll go for you like this. Oh, but I messed it up, how embarrassing. Okay, well it's decent enough that we could do power bomb. Oh man, that's six FP though. We're doing it though. It gets rid of him, that's nice. So the only one, the other one did eight damage, so really not that much more. Weird. I don't know why there's such a distinction between the two then. Either way, we're gonna keep going. And what is, Go ooh, I was gonna say, what is Goombari gonna say about this area? Looks like we're getting a shooting star. I should probably be using these a little bit more often then. Boy, these rooms all seem to look alike, huh? Seems symmetrical, you know, the left side is a mirror image of the right side. It'll be really easy to get lost in here. Continue with care, okay, Mario? Which I think is a hint towards the fact that we can go, or do we have more maple syrup? We do, there we go. I think that's a hint that we can go into the hallway before and where the red X was and just go down there now. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do now. 
Anyways, keep on, keep on spinning back over this way. I've already done that. So yeah, I think we're good to leave. And then basically just go all the way back around again. So here we are in the first hallway again, and what do you know? There's an opening now. So let's see what's going on this way. I've been looking around with Watt to see if there's any extra items. I couldn't find any, but that's fine. So with Goombario, this is a long corridor, huh? Even the wallpaper around here looks frozen, although I do very much like the star pattern. Okay, and it's another thing with Bombat. Alrighty then, just gonna plop her down and see how that goes. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh no, the duple ghosts again. What? Who are all of you? You're all trying to look like me. Mario, don't tell me you can't tell which one of us is a real Bombat. You can tell, right? Hey, I heard that. You're, you're spreading lies, you imposter. I'm the real Bombat. Oh no, no, no. Mario, look carefully at me and you'll know. I'm the real Bombat. It can only be me. The others are all liars. I'm the, I'm the one. Mario, me, don't fall for these tricks. I'll blow you up if you do. I'm I'm the real Bombat. P please, trust your eyes and look at me. I'm, I'm not lying. No, I, ca I can't bear this. Mario, smash the imposters with your hammer. All of you are pretending to be me. I can't take it another second. Oh, that's a nice idea. That'll clear all this up. Yes, good idea. Just hate, I just hate imposters. Mario, I'm the real Bombat, so don't you dare hit me. I don't know which one. Uh, th this is terrible. It, it It's so clear that I'm the real Bombat. Uh, probably that one then. Uh, Mario, I'm Bombat. I'm not ever going to forgive you if you mess this up. That is definitely not matching Bombat's vibe. There's no way that Mario will make a mistake. We have journeyed so very far together. Isn't that right, Mario? You know which one of us is the real Bombat, don't you? Mario, I am Bombat. I'm Bombat, you know it. Hmm. So if I were to bomb a fake one like this, right? There's, ow! Some, somehow you managed to see through my disguise. Darn it, I thought it was all going so well. And then they just run away. Okay. Oh, Mario, you're terrible, you don't even recognize me. Oh, I can't bear it. Oh, that was the real one. Oh, and all the other ones are gonna attack me, I'm so sorry. Okay, it's fine. Uh, Let's go ahead and just do Starstorm again. Yeah, it should be fine. I know I need to restore my star power sooner or later, but for right now, we can do this. I mean, we're getting closer and closer to a level up, so that might even do it for us, but we can do this. They'll still get them down to eight HP. We might be able to use Bombat's other move and just get rid of them all at once. That'd be pretty good. So I guess if I got it wrong right away, I could have faced off with another one of these guys and gotten even more experience. Note taken. Oh, there we go, but still only why? The other one does seven damage. So why would I do that? I don't know. Anyways, you're transforming the bomb bat. No big deal. I have to look into that because it does the same amount of damage as Bombette's move. Or the Bombette's other move. Let's see again. She has power bomb. Explode and destroy all enemies on the ground. Oh, I see. So for this one, it's just all enemies. So really you're not getting any extra damage out of it, which I feel like is sort of a shame, but okay, I didn't mean to do that, but it still does one damage. Okay, so at least we got rid of him. Oh, oh, we're getting extra experience. Now's a perfect time. This bow increases star points you earned, so I think we got double. We had six, we get 12. Oh, we just need eight more. Come on now, that'll be great. Well, that was interesting. I'm so sorry, Bombat, but let's keep moving. Mario, have you noticed our reflection on the floor? I don't trust the floor this shiny, I bet it's slippery. Actually, it's not been slippery yet, but okay. Either way, here we go, we get the red key, so now we can go through the red door. Awesome. So, things have been going pretty well so far, but I'm sure there's still plenty more to explore in this whole mansion. Just sort of keeps going and going, doesn't it? We'll save again, and you know what? Now might be a great time to once again run back and heal up at that one uh, hallway. Okay, so all we gotta do is press this button. I'm sure that if we go around and go through, maybe there's more we could do. I'm sure that at some point, yeah, we'll have to go through the mirror on the blue door, come back over, and then go through the red door. Because the button's on both sides, so we'll have to keep that possibility in mind. Or maybe not. There are, the architecture of this place is really bizarre. We pass back and forth through the glass walls, not knowing what's a mirror and what's not really bugs me. 
Yeah, I can say you can say that again. So there's more than one way to go. Obviously, there is a mirror right here if we did want to get to the other side. Don't have to worry about that just for right now, though. I think we're just going to go the normal way for now, and we'll sort of figure it out. Okay, so for you, I want to switch over to Cooper and just take you on. Come on now. Gotcha. Did that not do damage? Why didn't that do damage? Weird. Anyways, uh, I actually do need to change you into... Well, this is tough, but yeah, I guess it might be the best part for now. We have not seen the, the black Magikoopa over this way, or gray Magikoopa. Uh, this is a gray Magikoopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. Those gray robes aren't very flashy, but they're kind of cool. Max HP is 11, attack power 3, and defense power 0. He can use magic to make his companions transparent. He can't attack enemies that are transparent. Or you can't, I don't know. Uh, let's try to beat, beat him up before that becomes an issue. What do you say? Okay, so let's give that a try. Also, yeah, okay, never mind. I thought that I had the jumping badge equipped, but I forgot that I don't. So we should be able to handle him. Oh, I tried to block it. I did a bad job. So he's gonna, of course, make this guy transparent. Don't know how long that lasts for, but hopefully we can just get rid of this guy. And maybe he'll just become untransparent? No. So obviously, you can't do too much right now. You might as well charge. Oh, plus two damage. I blocked it though, that's good. Still can't do anything. Uh, then it's a great time to focus. All right, here we go. Slightly recharged. Goombario, once again, charge up. Because I don't know if it only lasts one turn or if he's gonna have plus four damage now. Yeah, I blocked it again. Okay, let's try to find out with Gumbario here. Uh, let's head bonk on him. Oh, wow, that must have hurt. Awesome. So there we go, three star points out of that. Oh, and that beat up the statue in the background, so I guess we can travel through that now. Also, once again, can we get you or not? It just doesn't, you can't get the first strike in these battles for some reason. Okay, now we have a white Magikoopa. This I can handle a lot better though, especially if we just start with Fire Shell. So there's 100%. We did some decent damage to everybody. I think at this point, Mario can now do the Mega Quake, and it'll be enough to take him down, so might as well get to it. Boom, one turn, take down on all three enemies. Pretty cool. And that's enough Oh, for us to get a level up. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to up our HP, I think. Four HP is quite a lot, isn't it? And there goes another statue. So we should have a full restore and everything. Once again, we'll attack you. I mean, I just don't want you to get the first strike. Even if we don't get it, it's important that they don't get it either, you know? So once again, let's start with the fire shell. Now I'm gonna save my star power because I honestly don't know what's coming up. I'm sure the boss is gonna be here sooner or later. So in the meantime, I think Mega Quake's fine because I'm sure we'll have the chance to heal our FP and HP before a fight, but maybe not our star power. All right, so there's seven star points to start our new level off with, and that'll give us plenty more coins. So it looks like it was worth it going down this way first. Wait, uh, let's grab that one coin. So we have 180 coins in total. What level, we're level 20 now, that's crazy. I didn't realize we have gotten that far. I wonder what the max level is. Anyways. We're gonna go back this way and try this out. See, now we can get across no problem. Isn't that nice? Is this gonna be a different description for Goombaria though? An indoor bridge? Now I've seen everything. So yeah, I guess it is a different description. Ooh. So there's a red button and that flips that around. I thought you already knew that you could activate switches by giving them some sort of shock. You can use Cooper or Bombette to do it, you know? Don't forget. So I think Bombette is the one we need because with Cooper, we just couldn't get like a straight shot of it. So let's do this. And we get to flip around. Interesting. And will Goombario once again have the same description here? Yep. So let's keep it going. Well, we got more of them. All the rooms look alike around here. Did they design this area intentionally to confuse us? They really might have. 
They really might have. So once again, I see the sort of ploy they got going on here, but we did make the first strike. Nice. So we got a yellow Koopa as well. But we're gonna switch over to you, and we'll do Fire Shell, because it just does, you know, the most damage to these guys. There we go. And even though it does consume a lot of FP, it might be worth it to once again do this. Gotcha. Okay, they're all taken down. That's at least good. We get five more points for it. If I ever need to, I can backtrack and try to uh, get something. Oh, we get some extra rewards uh, from her. That's cool. That is a lot of coins. We need to grab them. We need to grab all of them. They disappear so quickly, though, is the problem. Like, so very quickly, but we got them all. And now we're up to 200 exactly. Awesome. So I need to find my way back there, then. Problem is, oh, I see. You can see it back there. There's something we can get into with Bombat. So, I would like to do that. Go ahead and put that there. And we got it. Ready? Boom. Okay, so with this, I could try doing this. We'll see if this works. Please? Ah, it took so long. I think I can actually choose. Oh yeah, I can choose when she explodes. So if I put it here. There it is, awesome. <laughs> that's good to see. It does seven damage to you. Wow, that's actually quite the start. Hmm. How do I want to, this might actually be where I want to do star power though. Star storm. Because that's a lot of enemies. Let's try it. So that'll do seven damage, bringing them down to eight HP. We'll do bomb, that's one move. And then I'll bring them all down to one HP, so at least that's something. Well, at least I'll get rid of one of them and then get the rest of them to one HP. Might be our best bat. Abilities, power bomb, press A repeatedly. Got it. Okay, well there's that done. I blocked it. So he's gonna transform into Bombat. It's not even that big of a deal. Uh, I couldn't block that one, but I was able to get rid of him. So that's still good. So you know, now's a great time then to do some focusing for Mario and then Bombat can get rid of him. Might be our best bat. So, Bombat, go ahead and do the body slam. Don't even need to do it very, uh, like charged up because it was only one HP. Okay, this place keeps going. Honestly, much longer than I was expecting for. But there we go, we get ourselves something. We get the triple dip badge. So I think that's just gonna be the same thing as the double dip badge, which we currently have equipped. Maybe I might wanna unequip that. I feel like I very rarely used it. I don't know, we'll have to consider it. For right now though, once again, I need Bombat. And let's keep it moving. I definitely wanna use her if I can to start more battles, because that seemed to be a very effective way of doing it. Oh, oh no, that's not us. It's very clearly not us, we're not even. Whoa, hey, oh, okay. Guess he's giving us a bit of a hint. Uh, Cooper? Cooper, Luigi, G Goomba, Colorado and, 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 and Koopa Coot. Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course, how would you know that? Don't you, old boy? Mario, look to me, I'm the real deal. Nobody else looks like Cooper. Mario, come on, I'm Cooper. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, Sonny. You believe me, don't you? I'm the real Cooper. There isn't any doubt in your mind, is there, brother? Oh, okay, old bean. You'd best smash these imposters one by one. That's a good idea. Brother, smash them all except me, okay? No, I'm going for Luigi first. <laughs> well, let's talk to them all. I'm the real Cooper, youngster. You're not saying you suspect this old Koopa, do you? Mario, open your eyes. I'm Cooper. I mean, seriously, look at me. Is it really that tough to see through this these disguises? Please. Mario, listen. I'm the real Cooper. These others are imposters. Listen, old chap, I'm the real Cooper. It, it, it's rather obvious to anyone with a bit of sense. Brother, I'm the real Cooper. As my brother, you must know that you must be able to see that, right? I feel like he wouldn't say that, though, so. Brother, I said I was the real Cooper so many times, so mean. Just joking. I definitely thought I had you going there, though. Honestly, I feel like if it's gonna be anyone, it might be Colorado. 
Uh, so let's get rid of uh, Goompa here. Ouch, that hurt. Still, good job. You have some incredibly keen eyes to spot me. And get rid of you. You must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Grr, remember me, I'll return. Should I? Let's do it. Mario, ow, you did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> That's just plain mean. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was so curious though. I don't know, I feel like they had to fool me at least once, you know, but I guess not. I'm so sorry, Cooper. We are all out of FP as well. Anyways, there's some damage to him. We're not all out of FP, but we're pretty significantly out of it. We don't need to do too much more here besides just attack him. And once again, I could have taken them all on. I don't know if I have enough FP to really make that worth our while though, so I think this is a better idea for right now. Let's use the hammer again. Gotcha. Okay. So there we go, two points, nothing crazy. We could have gotten, I guess, eight, but it's fine. All right, that was peculiar. The official line of, on this palace is that it's temporarily closed because of the snow and ice. You think that Colorado would research this place? I wonder if he's already planning a trip here. Maybe he's never heard of the palace at all. Or maybe he just has no clue how to get up here. Maybe. Anyways, it's easy to believe that this place was originally built as a palace to honor the stars of the sky. Merle said that, didn't he? It's terrible that people have forgotten and don't come here anymore, what a waste. Maybe after we clear it, the tourist trade will start anew. Maybe. So there's a couple ways to go. I guess we'll go down for right now. And there's an item for us. Oh, and a star piece right here. So we get some maple syrup, which I desperately need. So I'm gonna put the super shroom down um, so that I can just immediately take the maple syrup, get 10 FP back. Awesome. And boom, we're gonna take that super shroom. There we go. And another star piece for us, cool. So this room was nice. Whoa, what is with this? That's one big stone statue. Even you couldn't budge a statue that massive, Mario. If it were just a bit smaller, we could probably push it. Hmm. Well, let's take a look around then. What do we got over here? Oh, a bit of a gap. And I can't jump it at all. So let's try Cooper again. Cooper's been very useful this chapter. There we go, that worked. Because of our, our reflection over there. <laughs> Once again, let's, let's see what Goombario says. Because I never know when he's gonna give a hint. Hey Mario, you can reach far off objects by jumping and kicking Cooper's shell. Isn't that right? So he can activate switches that are cross wide gaps or even in reflections, right? I wish I could do that too. Maybe at some point you can. Okay, so here's where it flips. We don't have a key for this. Well, I've determined that there's nothing here but cold and I don't like it at all. So, I guess we're going this way and just sort of traveling backwards. We're probably gonna run into that Cooper copy again, or not. All right. Yeah, but just right over here. I wonder... No, okay. <laughs> Had to make sure. And I, I'm i guessing one thing. We got the jam and jelly, which is great to have, but what should I put it over? I mean, at this point, I really gotta start using some items. I have like several shooting stars. I will put it over a repel gel just in case. Um, I'm not able to do this in time and it disappears, but it's up there, come on. I hate it when that happens. Uh, I wanted to use my, oh, I, I probably shouldn't use the super shroom right now. Okay, I might just take this trade as it is. It looks like it's too late for me anyways. That is unfair when that happens. <laughs> anyways, as you can see, there we go, there's our star piece right there. And this one's tiny, what do you know? So. I guess I'm supposed to push it this way. The thing is, is, should I hop down or should I hop down on the other side? I don't know. We're hopping down on this side for right now. I never heard Gumbario said. There's a mysterious stone statue. This palace seems to have cornered the market on mysterious stone statues, huh? I guess so. Oh, here we go again. Hold on. First off, Gumbario described this area. Brr, it's so cold. This is gonna give me a cold. And then, oh gosh, you know what, Cooper? Then we're just gonna leave. Leave, oh, and come back in. Okay, got you this time. You made the first strike. Oh my, there's a lot of opponents for this one. So definitely, if we want to, we could items and just use a shooting star and do six damage to everybody. Oh, but even then, I feel like it's like not enough. Okay, we'll try it. Go ahead and do this. That'll damage everybody down quite a lot. It's just that one flying Koopa. 
So if we go ahead and then do Fire Shell, if we get it to 100%, this is gonna be worth our while, because there's only the one Magic Koopa left. He's probably gonna run. Yep, see ya. All right, well, five extra points is still pretty good. And, just gonna grab all these as much as I can. And who else do we have to fight? Nobody yet. Emphasis on yet, and ooh. Here we go. You got the D, the P up, D down badge. So, that ups the damage and lowers the defense. Interesting, uh, so with that one, if you could both of them at once, you would get nothing done and just waste a bunch of BP. Interesting. See, I definitely wanna see if the other room has had any significant change to it that maybe we can go into a hole, hole there. But I do know that, of course, this key, we didn't get a key. I don't know why, I, I was so expecting that to be a key because this door is still locked. I just, my brain skipped the fact that it wasn't a key. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we really have to go this way then. Sort of our only choice. We've been everywhere else that I've been able to observe. Aha, so we could have gone around it the whole time. I didn't realize that. I feel like this is something where Watt might be useful. Is there any? No, there's not. Okay. Well, let's go this way. And there's more enemies, what do you know? So, once again, I wouldn't mind getting Cooper out here. All right, Cooper doesn't mind either. Boom, and there's tons of enemies here, so definitely, let's try to get them. I'm thinking we should just be fine with using, I'll use one more of the shooting stars. But I definitely wanna save some of them for later. So there goes all of that. It does decent damage to most of them, enough so that Cooper should be able to do a power shell. And does that do, oh, that does four damage, darn. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem then. He's gonna transform. I blocked that without too much of an issue. You're gonna make one of them transparent, which is always a problem. And you are going to increase his damage? Yes, you are. Okay, so let's start with Cooper. We're just going to Power Shell again. Because that'll get rid of everybody except for the transparent Cooper. And then Mario can just charge the star power. If we can't do too much more anyways, we might as well. Uh, so, focus. There we go. And we just gotta block Cooper's attack. Can we do it? Let's find out. No, I can't. <laughs> Embarrassing. Uh, so focus again. Ba, 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 ba. All right, so our star power's at full now. That's nice. And Cooper, there's not really too much of a point to this, as you can see, still transparent. All right, but now, what is he doing? Oh, this is gonna lower his attack power, I guess. That's always good. Nice, I blocked it that time. I don't think it would've mattered either way, but we should just be good with hitting with the hammer. Just like this, we win. So that could've been better, could've been worse. But we got it. So there's six extra star points for us and a bunch of coins. Wow, a bunch of coins. Looks like even more of them because they're uh, all sort of doubled up from the reflection on the floor. And here we go, this has to be a key. Got the palace key, all right, cool. So yeah, let's see how that works out for us. So this whole palace has been pretty confusing and lengthy, but we're making some good progress. I'm pretty sure we're coming up towards the end of the chat though, so like, I, I don't wanna split up the episode now, that'd be a little weird. This one might just be a longer episode in general. But, let's keep it moving. And we'll open this one. The palace key opens the locked door in the crystal palace. That's exactly where we are. So I'll go this way for now, but I might have to backtrack at some point. Oh my, these guys are new. Uh, Gumbario, would you like to tell me about this area? Those albino dinos, they seem to, to turn and face us when we walk to them. Oh, can I talk to them? Oh, you can't go through here unless you solve the puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, we'll let you through. So you guys aren't enemies. Hmm, you can't get through here unless you solve the puzzle. What could it be? Oh, you know what it might be. I don't know which way they have to face, but we obviously have to push them. Maybe we can only push them the way that they're facing? Is that the trick? I guess we'll find out. Because they obviously have to be on those little platforms, right? 
and then can we put we can't push it up like that huh that actually does make it a bit weird because you can't push it up they can only be pushed the way they're facing. okay then we know what to do here um first things first i need that guy okay this is fun actually i like this what we gotta do i don't know if we can have him look at me when i'm yeah like that awesome oh but it's mirrored keep in mind so we actually need him to go like this we will have to move him oh but wait a minute oh <laughs> i didn't even have to okay so leaving the room gotcha i didn't even realize it wasn't um a wall here leaving the room will make it so that we can't it'll, it'll sort of reset it so we don't want that so we'll move you over there and then let's get this guy out of the way just like that Come on a little bit more. Got it. So now remember, we need sort of the inverse, just like that, and get back over here. Give it a quick push, and then one more time, but this way. Yep. Okay, we got it. That wasn't too bad, now was it? Wow. So a new doorway opens after that that sort of weird puzzle. I liked it, that was really cool. And is there anything for Watt to check out around here? Because it seems like quite the open room. But the answer to that is no. Okay, let's go in. Oh, something's about to happen. We can save, we can heal. We're gonna start with Goombario, of course, because he can tattle on whatever we about, we're about to fight. It looks like we can take a break here, doesn't it? If only we had some hot cocoa, we could take a real rest. Or, you know, some like furniture to relax on. Whoa, what is up here? Hmm, a back door. You think it's going to be a dead end up ahead? Hey, by the way, what do you think the star spirits are up to right now? I was just thinking of them. I mean, we're really close to them at this point. Who comes to my palace? Whoa! He doesn't have a head, but he has eyeballs. What is going on with this guy? He looks cool. Mario, you finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the star spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First, I shall defeat you. Then I shall present Bowser with an ice Mario gift. We'll see about that. Mario runs right into battle. Whoa. So what do we want to do here? I'm thinking first things first, uh, we should tattle. <laughs> so there's actually a couple things we can tattle on. Um, we got the Crystal King and the Crystal Bit. So let's do the Crystal King. This is the Crystal King. He's one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he managed to make or take over the palace, but max HP is 70, attack power six, and defense power two. He'll attack you by summoning and launching Crystal Bits. The power of each attack is four. The number of the times he attacks equals the number of Crystal Bits he's deployed. He'll also try to freeze you whenever he can. When his HP gets low, he may try to divide up, divide and conquer. The power of this attack is eight. You can hurt him only by attacking his real body. If you know which one is the main body, you should attack all of them. Uh, or if you don't know. Uh, pretty brilliant, eh? So yeah, definitely that's what we'll do uh, for right now. We are going to just, you know, go sort of outward with it with the Star Storm. Because right now it's very clear which one is his main body, I would think. And maybe this will destroy the other one so that that's less of a concern. Okay, it did. All right, Mario's happy about that. So he's gonna spawn in a couple more, but that uses up an entire turn for him, you know? So that's where we can really take advantage. I think we're gonna start with Cooper. Wait, hold on. Change member to Cooper. And see if we can't do the fire shell here. Because if he's icy, wouldn't this do some extra damage to him? It does six, which honestly isn't too bad, but I think there might be more bang for a buck we can get. For right now, star spirits, let's do another star storm, because I think that so when he's spawning in his friends, that uses up an entire turn. So that gives us a chance to get some extra damage in. We can do another Star Storm and hopefully get rid of all of his friends all over again. So that's pretty good. Um, and as you can see, he's already down to 50 health. That's pretty cool. We get our extra FP back. And what is he going to do? Oh, no. Hits us with this. Oh, and we're frozen. That's not so good. So Cooper, I don't know. Maybe what do we want to do here? Let's see what Madame Bo could do, because maybe we could, I wanna see what her fan smack can do. So let's try this out. 
filled up all the way to 100% and, oh, it doesn't do anything. That's a waste of a turn. That is not good at all. Yikes, it's weird that some things just like will be very damaging and some things just won't work at all and you just sort of have to trial and error it. Either way, Mario's unfrozen, so that's at least nice. We're definitely gonna switch out of Lady Bo and go back to Cooper. If that works, it works, you know? Let's just use that fire shell. We have plenty of FP for right now. There we go, got all the way to 100% and do another six damage to him. Okay, so what's he gonna do? Oh, oh okay, so he's gonna fire these. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I did not do a very good job of blocking them. But at uh, this time, we probably don't wanna do Star Storm. We wanna wait until he has multiple people out here before we start doing Star Storm, I think. Uh, so for right now, just hit him with the hammer, do four damage. It's not a lot, but it's it's something. And now Cooper can do the fire shell. Usually his little teammates aren't on the ground anyway, so this only hurts him, but it, it's still good. Oh gosh, what's he doing now? He's freezing us again. I am really bad at dodging that, that is for sure. Oh boy. All right, so Mario's frozen again, but let's try this out a little bit more. Um, so like that's really tough to keep up with, for sure, and I'm, I don't exactly know what our best bet he is here, because it seems like, okay, now he's spinning around. Whoa, he's splitting up, okay, so this is where it becomes a bit more of a problem. This is where we attack all of them now, if Mario wasn't frozen. Okay, Cooper, do it again, fire shell. So fire shell is just the best go-to right now. There we go, he was the one in the center. This is it, this is where things get a little scary, but I know we can do it. Oh wow, he healed himself for 20. Oh my gosh. Not what I was expecting. So once again, let's do Star Storm. Well actually, I really don't know though. It might be better if we did like Shooting Star and Thunder Rage. That'd be 11 damage, but I feel like I need to wait until he has more friends out. There we go, we do four damage, there's really not much. And Cooper. I might just have to hold on for now. We're running out of FP as well. Him healing 20 was definitely not in my plans. Oh, we blocked it, awesome. I really needed that. Okay, I don't think we really have the chance here. We need to just go for him. Let's do Star Storm. Just like that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this is very dangerous. We gotta be careful. So I think that for right now we'll do Fire Shell, right? Or maybe not, maybe we'll do Power Shell. Or maybe I'll just do Shell Toss. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm so used to the other move. So he's gonna split up to a bunch now. This is where we can maybe use that one move. But if he heals for 20 again, we're in big trouble. I don't know what to do to prevent that. You know, that's a little weird. Um, items, double dip. We're going to do Shooting Star on all of them. And that'll help us figure out which one's real. It's that one in the center again. Same trick twice, I guess. And then Thunder Rage, or maybe we should try healing ourselves now. That might actually be a better idea. So this would restore 50 HP. Not as much as we need exactly, but actually maybe we'll do Jam and Jelly on ourselves, because we need the FP. There we go. Now we can just go ahead, and we have several Jam and Jellies back at the, the, the town, so that should be good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got it mixed up with the other move again. That does six damage, we're so close to getting him. Come on, don't heal. Oh my gosh, what do you do? We have him lower than before though, so that's at least good. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna go with him with another hammer. I really don't have too much of another choice anyways. Uh, unless I wanted to use an item to heal me now, I think I might do that next turn. But I can't get frozen, that's a thing. Okay, fire shell, here we go. Got him. He's down to 25 now. I blocked it again. That's exactly what we need. Um, so this time, I think we are going to go ahead and use the Ultra Shroom or the Super Shroom. I think for right now, the Super Shroom. If we can just sort of delay things out for a little bit, I think that's fine. 20 HP is still pretty good, considering the situation. And we get an extra FP out of it. Keep at it, Cooper. There we go. He's down to 19 now. He hasn't even spawned in his extra friends yet. Okay, what is he gonna do this time? Now he's gonna spawn in the extra friends again. So like, we could maybe do it. It really depends. Oh, they're all floating this time. Oh no! What do we wanna do about that? Uh, Cause I could jump on one of them specifically. Okay, this is our chance to use 
Thunder Rage. Right there. That gets him down to 14. He was down like 12 before. So, once again, he's gonna heal himself. Oh my gosh, it just drags on and on. There's gotta be a better way to do it, right? I don't know, like I might be doing everything wrong, I don't know. <laughs> so he's gonna heal himself again. Oh no, he didn't, he didn't! Oh, you might have got me, but I think I just got you. Maybe, not this turn, but, oh man, I wish I was ready for that, because I would have tried to block against it. Oh, he's so low on health, come on, Cooper, you can do it, don't heal, don't do it! Okay, he's making his friends again. Okay, this is it. We got him right here. Oh my gosh, was that tough. So, uh, hmm. Oh, what, what, wait, wait, he's floating. Oh no, change members. <laughs> oh, we don't, we're not quite out of the woods just yet. Let's try this for the big finish. Let's do the Mega Bomb. There we go, easy explosion. And there it is, we beat him! Oh my gosh, that was crazy. And we get 42 star points, that's a lot. They knew this boss was tough. Oh no, the last star spirit, King Bowser, forgive me! Well, there we go. We defeated him, and we saved the star spirit. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. So after a very challenging, but also sort of, I mean, I guess it was sort of a normal length chapter, I don't know. We saved the seventh and final Star Spirit with all of them together. Will we be able to save the day against Bowser? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but for right now, the final one, he has a fancy little mustache. It was a lot of hard work, but we're getting stronger with each episode. End of chapter. Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from the Crystal Palace at the edge of the world. Now, with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it is time for Mario's showdown between, with evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod, or will wishes forever go ungranted? I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode of Paper Mario. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.